Welcome everybody to another new video of the Control Addicts channel. Today our video will be about uh, the macOS system. Uh, finally, after a lot of tries, I succeeded installing the macOS system El Capitan on my PC. Uh, I found out some serious problems with the text installing it, but finally I found out a way how to do it. Anyway, in this video I'll be talking about what I did exactly to make it work and I'll show my configuration and my loaded cases and uh, I'll be showing also some application to those who are new, new to macOS system. So uh, to start, I will start with the configuration so as you can see I'm uh, having an Intel Core i5 later I will show you the reference and uh, 12 GB of RAM and uh, I finally got my GTX 560 Ti work on this macOS so let's see some details um, so this is the processor uh, I forget to tell you guys but uh, making the audio driver work was really hard so well maybe because of my audio card but uh, I don't know it was really hard to make it do uh, to make it work and uh, for those who are wondering what is my sound card it's uh, a Realtek uh, HD definition ALC uh, 662 I think like that yes it's like that so even the USB camera is working what is else the Ethernet it's also Realtek controller so this is the graphic card memory and uh, those supposed to be my hard drives I'm running three hard drives one for the macOS and two other for the Windows so as you can see here the Macstar and the Seagate and the other Seagate. I'm using this one for the macOS and this is the DVD driver so those are the USB uh, I think we finished here so let's close this and go to display this is my display uh, he successfully find the reference the storage and the memory that's all um, I had to do um, a bootable partition to be able to boot to deal boot between Windows and Mac OS system I used I used Clover to do it so I'll be showing here the configuration I'm using it oh wait let me verify if it's the one where is it? yes it is so here I'll be showing every single window for those who are wondering which boot flag I'm using so for the graphic I found th those in default settings so I haven't touched them and uh, for the drivers I'm using those and uh, I'll talk later about the NTFS that made me able to access my drivers uh, my hard drive and be able to even create folders in them 
So um, let's close this. Okay, what else now? This is called states bar. Uh, it shows well. Unfortunately, the macOS uh, absorb a lot of memory. As you can see, I'm using almost 10 gigabyte, and I have two only three. Let's see if I can gain some. Okay, let's leave it there. So, for being able to make this macOS boot, I had to remove those three texts from the. Well, before all, I have to show you how to access the system file. So, I hope the command is still here. Yes, it's still here. So, you use this command to make a hidden file available to see. And after that, you relaunch the launcher, and you go to your hard drive where you install the system. Then you go to system. You have to open it like that. Then library. Then extensions. And here, you should find all your textes. Uh, before knowing that it's in a hidden file, in a hidden folder, I searched in this... Wait, where is it? No, not this. Let me hide them again. Library extension. Where is it? Yes, I thought they are here, but those are others. Anyway, uh, those were making me unable to boot after installing the audio text. And this one also who made those two start. So let's close the terminal and uh, <coughs> Well, um, as you can see, everything is working well, and you can install an application from the net. Let's see the setting. Well, probably those who are used to, to use the macOS system should be able to know all of this here. Um, the thing I love uh, about this version of macOS it's their color I found really a really interesting color in this presets anyway everything should be accessible from here I mean I really recommend it for those who haven't used it yet it's really a good experience to install it and dig on it to find out what is about and as we can see here we gained a little RAM but not not a lot so I suggest to install that variant for reading videos reading uh, non-common videos and uh, you also have to install VLC player it's really good better than QuickTime for me uh, what else well, about the update you will probably you'll probably get a notification about updating some files well I updated what I can but there is two others here uh, that I didn't take the risk to install them because they can mess with my text and I, regle er, I will regle 
regret it later <laughs> sorry for this um, so let's close this um, we will test the graphic by playing a little this game <laughs> it's a really funny game by the way You can use the arrows to play. Anyway, <laughs> let's end it. So, as you can see, the system is really smooth and everything is working the audio, the, the video, and everything. So anyone will need anything from this video or from this system files just let me know in the comment and I will upload the files for you. And uh, I used this easy kext utility to install the kext as you know the kext wizard is not working with this version of macOS so we had to, to use this one. And uh, for the NTFS drive to be able to gain full access for them, you have to install the Texora, this application. Well, you can find it anywhere. And uh, you also need those links for downloading applications. They are the best. I will leave them in the comment below. So I hope I hope you guys enjoyed this video and sorry for my bad English and my accent and uh, if you do like the video don't forget to subscribe and like it and even share it with your friends Thank you guys for watching and see you in another video